In the early 2000s, when flip phones were cool and texting required T9 patience, Nokia was undisputed king of mobile phones. So, what happened? What led such a thriving company to a total disaster? Sadly for Nokia, it made four devastating business mistakes. The first one is overconfidence in Symbian OS. What is it? Well, before iOS and Android, there was Symbian OS the brainpower behind Nokia's legendary smartphones. It was the rebuild operational system of its time, until smartphones emerged. Apple's iPhone introduced a full-touch experience, while Android provided a more flexible operation system. And instead of innovating quickly, Nokia stuck with outdated Symbian for too long. The second mistake arises from the previous one, underestimating the power of touchscreens. The iPhone quickly proved that users preferred touchscreens devices over keypads, but Nokia somehow dismissed that trend. By the time they embraced touchscreens, Apple and Samsung had already taken over. The third crucial mistake was betting on the wrong partnership. In 2011, at the peak of smartphone revolution, Nokia made a bold and ultimately disastrous choice. Instead of joining the Android wave, like Samsung, HTC and others, Nokia's then-CEO Steven Elop famously called their own platform a burning platform and struck an exclusive deal with Microsoft. The Lumia series running Windows Phone had sleek designs and smooth interface, but it was too little in comparison with competitors. So, the last mistake of Nokia was failing to build a strong app ecosystem. App Store and Google Play quickly became key selling points for iPhones and Android devices, while Microsoft Phone Store was slow to develop and had no Instagram, Snapchat, or even Google Maps. 